Hey, what's up everyone? Mendel here. I hope you're all doing awesome and wonderful. So this is the last video of the Cubase Rock series where I like showcase recording stuff using VST Amprec. And in this video, we're gonna mix everything that we recorded so far. So let's dig right in. Here we go. All right, so here we are in Cubase Elements, and this is the session with all the stuff we recorded beforehand. So we have our bass here, our guitars, the lead guitar thing we did, uh, our groove aching drums. But as you can see, it's a bit more cleaned up, and over here we have one shot. Now before we go into mixing, I'll explain what I did here. Now the cool thing with Groove Agent is you can load up your kits, which is awesome and they sound very good, but you can also load up like your own samples. And I have a couple of like one shot samples in my collections or like uh, single uh, kick shots or snare shots. And I blended those in uh, with Groove Agent. So uh, just for oversight, I used two instances, but you can also use one instance of Groove Agent if you want. But over here, this is the normal kit we have. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Could do it all day. But that's the uh, the Groove Agent kit. But over here in the second instance of Groove Agent, I loaded up a snare sample, a single shot, and a single shot kick sample. And those we're gonna blend in with the Groove Agent kit. So let me put all these faders down because first we're gonna make up a quick balance before we go into mixing. All right, so here we go. Let's start with the overheads. And now I was blending in the kick one shot. Sounds good, let's go on with the snare. That's the snare one shot, add some weight. Sounds pretty cool. So let's go on with the bass. Cool by me, and now let's go to the guitars. Okay, the bounce pretty good. Guitars could be a bit louder. This is a pretty good balance. Now let's start with some mixing. Let's start with the overheads again. And with the overheads, I like to compress them a tiny bit and cut out some mids. Sounds fine by me. Let's perhaps cut out a tiny bit of harshness. Let's add some compression.
compression adds some sustain to the snare, which make it sound a bit bigger. Let's go on with a kick. Also sounds good to me, let's go on with the snare now. Let's do a tiny bit of compression on the drum bus. And for that, I like to use the vintage compressor. Early release, attack around 30 milliseconds, and let's see what we get. Nice to compress and I'm kind of going for that, that uh, stadium rock sound, so I'm happy where it is going. Now with the bass I really like to use a brick wall limiter just to pin it down. And there's a tiny bit of honk in the midst, which I'm gonna take out. Now let's use even some more compression. Uh, and again, those, that vintage compressor on the bass. Now I'm doing an early attack and an early release. Cool, and I'll just add in those guitars. Now when I'm listening to the guitars, I can kind of hear some weird stuff around uh, 200 hertz, which I'm gonna need to take out to 70. Sounds fine by me, perhaps a tiny bit more, just like that. I think the kick could use a bit more energy, so let's tiny bit add some of the lows. With 
the bass perhaps a tiny bit more around 100 Hz. That adds some weight and some, some energy to the mix. So now I'm going to take and listen to the solo guitar. I personally really like how it sounds. I don't think it needs any cue. So let's just try to blend it in and see how it fits. Now that sounds good to me. The only thing I do need to do is lower the rhythm guitars just a tiny bit when the solo kicks in, just to make some room for those guitars, or the solo guitar. Perhaps one and a half or two dB or so. And perhaps just a tiny raise when those final chords get in. Let's take a quick listen from the beginning. That sounds cool, the only thing I'm missing is a bit of depth. So over here in the bottom you can see I added Roomworks, which is an, a reverb plugin that comes along with Cubus Elements. And if you want to know, in Roomworks I have it on the drums medium snare preset on 122 seconds. Let's add some depth. So let's take a listen from the beginning. That sounds much better to me than without it. This is without it. This is with it. Okay, now let's take one final listen to the whole song, how it feels and sounds. That's basically it. That's uh, how you make some songs by just using stock plugins and Groove Agent and VST Amp Rec uh, on the guitars and leads and bass. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments. And until then, see you next time. Cheers. <laughs>